Good evening, Cube community, and welcome back to San Francisco, California. We're at Databricks Data and AI Summit, and it has been an absolutely power-packed day. We've got another power-packed day for you tomorrow, but before we get there, we've got to do one of our favorite segments here on the Cube, and obviously one of my favorite segments here on the Cube, the Savvy Swag segment. But today, we're doing things a little bit different and a little more hands-on. Woo! Hello. So, here I am, casually, sitting in my wonderful blow-up beanbag from Rivery, and you might remember this fantastic coconut from Datafold earlier this morning. It's kept me hydrated all day, folks. As if AI wasn't cushy enough, we've got a whole bag full of swag for you here. One of the things I noticed that was fun, there's a little bit of a battle for the shiniest, glammiest rave bag at this show floor. We've got a nice one from Security, our friends at Security, their Cube, former Cube guests. And Rivery, in addition to having this absolutely posh purple bag, which matches the show floor and their branding, just for the record, this bag is also very blingy. Right away when I walked in, I saw some super cool trucker hats. Now these trucker hats from Unstructured are not only super dope and fun colors, they're also custom, they're all different things. Mine has California poppy on it, we're here in San Francisco, big poppy fan. But there's also ones with popsicles, hot dogs, and Brian, their CEO, was nice enough to give every single one on our team a rad trucker hat from Unstructured. So we're really grateful for that. It's always super nice when folks are generous. Going to give you one other hat contender in today's swag segment, and that is Data Wrangler. Now, Noah and I have Cloud Champ hats from our KubeCon Cloud Native Com in Amsterdam last year, but I did think it was kind of cute that they went with Data Wrangler, and it's not a cowboy hat. Interesting, interesting opting for the dads. Maybe it says you a little bit about the, the dev community there, and that's from Dagster. We had five Tran on the show twice today. We had George, their CEO, and we had a fabulous guest on earlier today. They went full on with the exploration theme. Take me to the lake. Oops, take me to the data lake. Turn that up this way. And, and obviously big data lake announcements all around. Lake, a big theme here at the show. These guys are doing some really fun stuff. I also happen to love a good bandana. I have a lot of bandanas around. Maybe the only one at the, uh, at the show who's as into that as I am. Continuing that theme, uh, Five Trend also did a Take Me to the Lake s'mores kit, which is super rad. There's, there's uh, marshmallow and graham crackers and chocolate in this cup and also great for camping. As someone trying to get a camper van to do a live show with Nerds in Nature, I am very excited about that gear. It is summer season, folks, and I love a good water bottle that we can fill with any sort of beverage. Could be wine, could be anything. Orion Governance. I will say this is my first piece of swag that says the word governance on it. Says how hot governance is in AI right now. Totally, totally different time. Going to be filling this with some beverages for summer concerts and festivals around the world, hopefully. Google, really going for it. We were at Google Cloud Next a couple weeks ago. The, their shirt line was the longest of any of the lines in the show. You get to customize your shirt, one of four options. I obviously went for AI, is my love language. So in case you're wondering how to speak to me, not naughty or naughty, just remember AI is my love language. I am sure the team back home is going to love that I just said that. These shows are bright and intense, and you don't hear a lot of people talking about Zen, but Satori has embraced the Satori Zen I mask. They also had a water fountain over there where you can just go calm down and chill out if you need a little break from the DJs bumping here on the show floor. Speaking of if you need a little audio break or if it's just a little too overwhelming, I really want to call out Databricks' very clear commitment to the neurodiverse as well as to inclusion. Right away when I walked in, I noticed that they had earplugs. It is very loud in here, and show floors can be extremely stimulating. It was super nice of them to be inclusive of the neurodivergent and neurodiverse there. With that, they also have some stickers on that note that I thought were really cool and, and really spoke to me. It's obviously Pride Month, they're repping the rainbows. I got my rainbows in my ear. But as someone who is neurodiverse, it's really nice when we're included in the inclusion side of things. And I like that this sticker says, celebrate minds of all kinds. It's lovely, it might be too tiny for you to see, but it's very sweet and very inclusive. They also had stickers in a multitude of languages that all said the future is open to all. Data or democratization of AI, end of data, big thing for Databricks, very clear throughout the show floor here today. And I honestly just found it really refreshing and illuminating. You heard me mention the Data Lakes bit. 
This is the first time I have ever seen this, and it actually made me smirk at how clever it is. Upriver engraved rocks here for that upriver. For the, for the branding is great. Upriver leads you to the data lake, perhaps. They've got a whole thing. Actually tells you where to visit their booth on the back of this rock. It can become a paperweight, skip it, throw it in the sea, whatever you might want to do here. Can't imagine shipping a box of rocks to a show floor, but I, I was actually impressed that they took the metaphor and the whole situation so literally that they, that they took it to the rock level. That was absolutely uh, fantastic. We also have, we, you saw us uh, at Click just, uh, just last week in Orlando. Click is doing a really adorable tiny activation that's easy to pack home. This is a mini campfire mug that has English lavender inside. So I can add this to my garden at home. There's a little bag, a little bag of soil in here and some seeds and I can grow it in my little Click cup. Or I can pop these in my garden and use this for another type of beverage, whatever I, uh, whatever I might feel like. Really like that though, like the the note, the nod to sustainability, like that we're all here at a time for growth and that we're all going in the right direction. Okay, two final things for you. Don't see a lot of coasters of all of all things, and uh, I happen to love a good coaster. So sell a ball, drop in the coasters. Also kind of nice that they've got their offering on the coaster. It's clever. If you're going to do a brand impression, yes, this is very literal. But on the flip side, you might as well tell your customer what you do if they're going to be putting their, their coffee mug, perhaps this coffee mug from 5chan, on their desk every day, and they'll be reminded of, of what you're doing. So I like this brand placement. This made me smile. This is the last thing I'm going to bring up before I, I figure out who, who the winners are here. Sigma's doing a spreadsheets for dummies book. Now this might seem silly in a crowd full of folks who are competent in ML and LLMs and AI. However, we had a fantastic conversation with Malcolm at NVIDIA when we were at AWS Financial Services Symposium last week, and he brought up that the collaboration between NVIDIA and Deloitte had started because they read an article in the Wall Street Journal where there was a quote that said, Excel is the thing holding back companies from their AI transformation. So perhaps, Big Enterprise needs this Spreadsheets for Dummies book so they can get on the AI bandwagon with all of the fabulous companies here. Now it's super hard to pick a winner when you're sitting in this bath of glory that I am right now, but I've got to give it to Rivery because this whole activation has been such a blast to pull together. The, the team has tolerated me and we've all got our bean bags to take home, which is fantastic. Also got to give the shout out on the fashion seas to Unstructured. These are dope. Thank you so much, Brian, for giving the entire production crew hats. We'll be sporting our fit all summer and quite frankly thank all of you for tuning in before we close out this segment gotta say what's up to this fabulous production team who has really done a lot of heavy lifting today you've done a fantastic job managing the chaos as always i cherish you i'm grateful for you also grateful for all of our analysts to john furrier dave Vellante, and everyone else who makes the cube happen my name is savannah peterson in the most comfortable position i will probably ever sign off from we're in san francisco at databricks data and ai summit you're watching the cube the leading source for enterprise tech news.